hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello and welcome to my channel <laughs> today we'll be painting another landscape following the autumn landscape that i did last night and today i chose a summery forest landscape and with a lot of light clay and yeah i'm so so excited to do this as always so let me tell you the colors that we'll be using for today's painting there will be a lot of greens and yellows and some browny colored things so yeah okay let me tell you the colors now okay we have a black titanium white ivy green sap green lemon yellow cad yellow and burnt sienna okay oh sorry <laughs> sorry guys i just hit my camera all right so let's begin now okay i'm gonna underpaint first my painting i mean my canvas as usual i'm gonna underpaint it with burnt sienna with tiny bit of black like this Okay, burnt sienna and black, guys. This will be uh, another painting with a lot of layers, just like what we did with the autumn painting. And I really think that layering is good for landscape painting, especially when there is, there's a lot of... Um, foliage and dirt I mean the dirt in the soil this one is more of a summary forest um, painting okay add more black add more black and again as usual this is just the underpainting this is not the actual color of the soil that we're trying to achieve right, like this again i'm just coloring the sides of my canvas Okay, again, I'm using the same color. Wait, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna move it quite, okay, like that. All right, you can actually move it. All right, okay, yes, that's just the underpainting, guys. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. All right, we're gonna do the underpainting of the background or the, yeah, the background and also the forest brown from afar. So I'm gonna get my ivy green, okay, like this color. I'm gonna add some black to it and tiny bit of yellow like this and burnt sienna just to tone it down gosh and if you're new to my channel you will always hear those amazing sounds from the background because you know <laughs> um, I 
can hear cars from the outside here at my place. Anyway, I'm just going to underpaint it with green, with the greeny mixture that we have here, like this. Excuse me. <laughs> and I'm just going to dab in some greeny color at the back. The background for us is mere um, suggesting the existence of plants and trees. We're not gonna go in full detail, but we should not depart from their actual shapes and, hmm, and from their actual or their natural uh, appearance. Okay, like that. Okay. I will go up. Okay, I'm gonna add more black to it. painting guys this will look really weird right now okay you can wash your brush out or just get another brush a cleaner brush but I'm just gonna stick to it and then I'm gonna get my cat yellow like this color And I'm going to water it down and apply it here. So around those greeny areas. This makes, this technique makes my life so easy, guys. <laughs> it's so easy. If you have your own technique though, you don't have to copy this one. It's just my own. Like that. So I'm going to dab in some yellow color here and there. Again, yellow color. I'm gonna get another brush just for me to make things a little lighter and to avoid the contamination with the green color. I'm gonna get my yellow plus white. Okay, I'm gonna cover this area like clean, bright yellow. Yellow, guys. Yellow. 
and I'm gonna make some mm, like this just that and some yellow we're gonna make the ground now Dab in some yellow and you can mix it with sap green to make some yellow greeny mixture. Okay, I'm just gonna play with yellow and greens to create some grassy soil. Okay, I like that. Okay, <laughs> this looks um, weird. <laughs> okay, like that. Greeny mixture. I'm going to apply here. Okay, ivy green. We're gonna layer a lot, guys. We're gonna layer a lot. Okay. And you will see that I will be alternately playing with the colors green and yellow. And later I will be using some apricot color mixed with brown. But for now, I'm just doing the grass part. And actually, this is not the actual color. We're just, again, underpainting it for the second, as the second layer of underpainting. But before that, I have to check if we're still recording. Yes, we are. <laughs> just making sure, guys. All right, I got it. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna and uh, or like randomly apply it on the soil part to make it like really, um, you know, like soil. <laughs> All Okay, <laughs> now we've basically un uh, um, color blocked the canvas, so we will proceed with painting the trees. And as I told you, we're just underpainting. Later on, we will see the details and we're gonna like it. So, so I'm just gonna get my black now, just pure black. 
and do some hmm, trunks. It's gonna extend all the way up. All the way up. Okay, and then we're gonna make it quite thick. Okay, next, here I'm gonna uh, paint another tree trunk which is quite thinner than that uh, first trunk. After color blocking, I call this object blocking, meaning we already we're already identifying where things are gonna go. Next truck. Okay, I'll be doing something in between. The highlights of the trunks will be done later. For now, we're just, you know, identifying where they are or where they should be. Okay, next trunk. Somewhere here. Some trees will be lightened, I mean, highlighted later. Some will be as is, depending on where they are. But then again, as I keep on saying, we're just identifying now where uh, the trees are gonna go. doing some another tree but quite crooked to make things more like natural like that it's quite slanting all right like that and then here We're going to make another tree that is quite um, thicker. Not thicker, but it's near us, so it should be uh, perspective wise, it should look bigger, you know, or thicker.
Okay, and then I'm gonna make another tree, which is very, the nearest tree, I mean the tree nearest us, nearest the viewer. somewhere here and also it kind of frames the painting again we will highlight it later okay like that and then we're gonna make some more um, Tree trunks from afar, like that. Okay, another one here. This time I'm gonna use like brownie, brownie color for the trunks here because uh, just for me to be able to identify uh, the one from the other. All right, because later when I highlight, I need to identify which should be highlighted. All right. So basically that's it <laughs> that's it now we're going to make their shadows so I'm gonna get my black I'm not washing my brush because there's really no need to, for me to do that I'm just mixing black with green okay I can add some sap green to it maybe tiny bit of cat yellow just to make it more like brassy not really super black you know and then I'm going to start doing the shadow now. Oops, that's too green, I think. Here. But I'm going to be moving in quite horizontal uh, motion. And then I will not make any harsh lines because um, that would be really weird if that would be harsh. <laughs> And then I'm gonna make the shadow for this tree. Just do it like this, guys. You don't need to do that. that or you can do that, but make sure that you still do the horizontal application. All right, like that. So same mixture, guys. Oops, that's too green. Just gonna make it like wider. I'm gonna make it like triangle as it approaches the viewer like that because that's how it is, you know. All right. Okay. Same mixture, guys, for this uh, tree. I mean, for the shadow of this tree. Make it quite wide. Okay, now I'm going to add some green color and yellow for the shadows of the other tree. Oops. Here. Like that. Here as well. Oops, that's too light. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna add some black. Here. Some black. 
Alright. Here as well. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow green mixture. Then I'm just, oh, that's too, I think there's white that I added, that's why. Anyway, I'm just gonna dab. Okay, you can wash your brush out. So we've basically identified where the trees and the shadows are gonna go. Now we're going to the highlights now, which will make or break this painting. Okay, I'm gonna get my apricot, guys. Apricot. Okay, I'm gonna get my apricot now and add some burnt sienna. Actually, I'm using the wrong brush because it's quite soft. I need something, anyway. I'm just gonna make some more highlighted trees here, but I'm not gonna overdo the coloring. Just slight um, highlight. Also here. So, as you notice, I'm highlighting the background trees more than the foreground trees because the light is coming from the back, so they should be um, lighter in color. It's really weird. My nose is itching again. Just like yesterday when I was painting. I don't know why. So I'm highlighting the root part or the lower part of the tree. I'm going to add some burnt sienna to my apricot just to make it okay, more burnt sienna. Just to be more natural. Okay. Alright, like that. And then here, I'm going to add some highlights. But not too much because again, um, it's a foreground tree which means it's near us and it's not being well lit, you know. But some hints of light uh, should be there. Okay, like that. So here. Okay, I think that. All right, here. For those uh, trees that 
need more highlighting or brightness. We're gonna paint over it again later. Also here, I'm gonna highlight it, but not too much. I might glaze them black again because I really want to make different um, highlights or values of highlights later because the trees are not of the same distance. So there's also perspective, uh, there's also respect for perspective here. <laughs> that makes sense. Just gonna highlight some areas. And again, it's not the final color. I will go over it again later. For now, it's gonna be like that. Gosh, my nose is itching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna use the brownie color apricot and add some brownie brownie color here it's like dried grasses i'll use my rubens brush later the one we used yesterday for the autumn landscape but let me just first identify the colors i'm gonna add okay guys Yellow ochre plus burnt sienna here and So I'm just randomly applying that color here to make it more like look like soil, you know? Because even if it's grassy, it's still a forest. Meaning um, there's really uh, no one who regularly trims the grass and all that. It's not a garden. It's actually a forest, natural one. So there should be some elements of unevenness on the ground and bumpy areas as well. Like that. Right here. Okay, like that. Okay, wash your brush out. I call this stage still underpainting. I think this is the third layer that we're doing, but yeah, we can do this one. Okay, now I'm gonna get my Rubens Stencil R3, which we used yesterday for the uh, autumn landscape. So I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can see that. All right, so I'm just gonna use it and gonna get my sap green mixed with yellow to make some yellow greeny mixture and as you can see I did not wet my brush because we're actually dry brushing but actually dabbing not brushing <laughs> yeah so I'm just gonna dab in dab in like this and sometimes I will do uh, brush strokes like that mm. to be more natural then we went, go back to that being okay. Just play around, guys. You can also get brownie color. Mm 
to get that natural effect and I really like um, doing techniques guys I love techniques uh, I think they are more I think by doing techniques I get to express at the same time um, I get to actually you know, look at things as how they are I really like that approach. I don't have to distort reality and all that. It's me, guys. You don't have to argue <laughs> if it's not you. <laughs> it's me. It's it's my it's my. Uh, I I become happy when I do things like this. Okay, I'm going to get my black now because that black color will actually give some depth and some shadows and same way of application. so easy I don't mind redoing them okay you can get some yellow ochre as well so that you give that um, other shades of yellow I mean other shade of yellow I mean here as well so here I'm gonna get my yellow yellow ochre and then just apply it like that Even down here, in between, in between trees. Oops, there's black. Okay, okay I'm gonna get my ivy green. Uh, ivy green just to give some dark color. Touching the upper part 
gonna get my ivy green and start dabbing in some dark leaves here. All right. <laughs> this is fun. I'm so enjoying it, guys. Okay, here as well. Nice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I'm now I'm adding some yellow greeny color. Um, to be honest, guys, I'm so thankful that I'm teaching now on YouTube. Because again, even if I am actually teaching other people how to paint, I'm also learning by discovering um, my new pace, my new technique, and um, like confidence as well. So, <laughs> thanks guys! <laughs> okay, so I'm dabbing in more foliage. I love nature guys. I love nature. I love nature. I really prefer to live in a more naturey, naturey kind of place. <laughs> Just like my place here. Uh, than you know living in a city and I live in a city but the surroundings is so uh, there's a lot of leaves and trees here so I really like it. All right, so I'm dabbing in some green color um, over the shadow because even if there is a shadow, the shadow merely glazes that part. It does not cover it, you know? Shadow um, is like a translucent black cover. <laughs> Does that make sense? So it also, sh or it should show some grass over it like that. Okay, like that. Yeah, I like it. All right. Mm, this is really nice. This is so nice. I love it. Okay, so, so just dab in more leaves and foliage. I mean, no, no, no. Grasses. Okay, you can stop there. Okay, okay. wash your brush. Oh, no, 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 not wash, but wipe it so that it, began, it retains its dryness. I'm gonna get now, guys, my permanent yellow deep. It's like permanent, it's like translucent or transparent yellow. And then I'm gonna add it to the yellow and green mixture and start, mm, all right, okay. and start dabbing in here. Again, we're gonna glaze later, guys. But for now, I'm just using the tip of my brush for lighter or brighter foliage. lemon yellow and white and start uh, oh that's too white I'm gonna add more lemon yellow all right like that you can simply uh, dot, dab so that you know you don't create lines but you create texture 
Okay, I think that's too white. Okay, I'm gonna add some greeny texture. I mean, greeny color, greeny texture. <laughs> I'm going to add some yellow greeny color. And some bright area. That's really nice. Mm, that's so nice. Okay, wash your brush up. Okay, guys, we're gonna glaze now. I'm gonna use my mm, okay permanent yellow deep water down. Okay, a lot of water, guys. And then I'm gonna spread some yellowness here, but okay right crazy 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 but i love it okay you can do that in a circular motion all right like that and then i'm gonna use my hand just to evenly spread the color And then more white. Okay, now I'm gonna add white to my permanent yellow D. Add white. And then 
just try to make some repairs here just that Let's go back to our apricot color and go back to those trees that need to be highlighted because they are very near the source of light, which is the back. Also, this should be highlighted. receive more light than the trees in the foreground so remember that So burnt sienna and black guys and I'm just gonna make some more uh, soily suggestion it should be a little bit soily is that even a word soily but you know that a natural soil the natural forest soil then dark green by adding black to our green mixture just to add more like shadows okay like that okay brush out we're gonna glaze again This is looking good. This is really looking good, guys. Okay, I'm gonna glaze again. I'm gonna use my yellow. Um, yellow plus water. Okay, I'm gonna add some white to it just to really make it bright. But be careful in this technique because you might cover the whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna try this one. Okay. Um, like that. So I'm just glazing some areas and some areas not. Oh, 
loops. All right, and then here. I'm just gonna do it this way so that, you know, there is some, like, what do you call that? Scattered lights. Because the light passes through all the holes that it can pass through. So I'm gonna even cover the tree like that. Detailing. I'm gonna get my lemon yellow and dab in some little uh, highlighted leaves from behind. Get more yellow. Okay, I'm gonna add white to it, some green mixture. So just that to suggest grasses and um, natural, um, what do you call that? Surface of the soil. Yeah, yeah, that's the right word. Maybe add some brownie color, brownie color. Like that. Okay. Brown color, brownie, brownie color. Right. I'm gonna use that brownie color to just adjust the color of my trees.
again to be more realistic. So I'm just separating the two trunks because I feel like they're too close. <laughs> I'm gonna use my black to again glaze uh, the shadow part to suggest, you know, that there are still shadows and they're not covered by grasses. Just go back to it. Apricot, make some like um, twigs. Okay, and then brown. I'm just gonna add some more brownie color. Okay, I'm just going to add more detailing on top, I mean, here, because uh, I think we're missing this. Mm. It should not be empty. So just dab in some more foliage. Also here, so we're not really forgetting it. Okay, and make some green color for shadow. really nice. So nice. All right. <laughs> it's so nice, guys. Now I'm going I'm go I'm gonna to glaze again, guys. And again, with this kind of technique, you should be very, very careful. I'm going to, uh, okay, I'm going to use my fan brush. This one. I'm just going to get my white and I'm not wetting my brush so that I get that natural, uh, natural sun rays. Okay, I'm gonna mix it with, okay, I ran out of yellow now. Cat yellow. So I'm just getting my cat yellow and then mix it with white. Not wetting my brush, guys, we're dry brushing. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> test this. We're gonna test this. The light should be coming from here. So. Okay. Gonna get my yellow. More yellow, guys. Because I feel like I. That's a lot of white, so. Yellow, cat yellow. It's too much. Oops. 
can also hear the uh, the uh, the canvas when I hit the canvas with uh, my brush because my painting is quite textured really all right so now we've done the light play we've done the light play we're just gonna fix the trees again I'm just gonna get my black now I'm gonna mix it with brown try to fix the trees that were um, glaze they should still be seen they should not be really covered you know mm -hmm. right. like that right. here And then we're going to fix as well the shadows that were actually it got deleted when I did the I'm gonna get my black and let's just fix the tree. Alright, I'm getting my apricot and brown in color. gonna get our yellow just to make it quite light green cannot be absolutely green and then just dab in some more grasses Here as well, inside. Okay, just dab, dab. All right, and then I'm gonna get my brownie color. Then we're just gonna do some little branches. Just to suggest that it's there. You know. It's too dry. It's too dry.
get my green color. Step, step, and go back to it. Because we don't want to miss the leaves, even if from afar, they're still there. They should be there, actually. We don't want to lose the colors by too much glazing. Just tiny. Just to suggest that there is still that this forest is continuous. You know, it does not end. It ends, but it's, it will be a, an entry to the main forest, something like that. Okay, push, push up. Now again, my permanent yellow leaf. And I'm gonna make some more highlighted areas. It's like glazing it. So the more layer that you apply, the more the more beautiful it is, you know, to look at. I don't know, to me it just looks more beautiful. This looks really nice. Ooh, this looks nice. Okay. Hey, what's your push out? The, the tree make it more like realistic all right like that I'm gonna extend this tree okay, I'm gonna make some gray color gray color guys just for um, this tree at the corner and make something like this. Okay. And again, get some back. Let's try to fix that. Okay. And then make that quite light. Okay, get some more black. Okay, 
This is just amazing. Mmm, so nice. Green color. Green color here. So nice, guys. Right. Okay. yellow greeny texture we're almost done guys we're almost done don't worry I'm, I'm just enjoying the this amazing amazing process okay I'm just gonna get my brown guys dark brown so just add black to it and let's go back to the soil brown it's like the dividing part just make some like that just separate the I don't want to call it horizon um, the foreground from the background yeah okay that's that's the right way of saying it let's just separate it is so nice. <laughs> wow, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. I'm just gonna darken that upper portion to give that uh, like vignette effect right mm, it's nice okay and we're good we're good so I'm just gonna I'm gonna sign it now. So I'm gonna use this space for my signature. Perfect. Right. <laughs> so yay! We're done, guys. Guys, we're done. This is so pretty. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and of course. Yes.